Every year, your small business should have marketing goals. If you're interested in growing your company, they're the target you need to focus on. But setting goals is a very different thing from hitting them. It's easy to decide what you'd like your small business to do, but it's often much more difficult to make it happen. Today, I want to help you shift the way you think about your goals and understand what it'll take to hit them. It's incredibly valuable information, so make sure you're paying attention. Look back at the past few years you've been in business. Have you hit your goals every year? If you're normal, the answer is no. Most small business owners don't. That doesn't mean you're failing though, so don't get down about it. What it means is that while you have the best intentions and setting goals, and you probably do better every year as a result, you're not sure what it takes to get to the next level. Until you do something about that, you'll have growth, but you'll rarely hit the goals you set for yourself. There's one major thing that your small business is missing if you're not used to hitting your marketing goals. You need a fully formed plan to do it. What I'm about to share is the process of building a goal hitting roadmap. Applied properly, you'll see yourself hit more of your small business's marketing goals far more often. You'll know what it takes to hit them and what to adjust when you don't. I'm about to make you a master goal hitter. First things first, if you're going to hit your goals, you need to set them. Goal setting is one of the most critical parts of small business marketing. If you don't know what you're trying to achieve, how can you know if you're succeeding? So define your target for the year. How much new traffic are you looking for? What percentage of traffic will become leads? How many leads will become customers? What percentage of your sales will come from referrals? From there, you could set quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily incremental goals. Think of them as milestones to help you measure your progress along the way. These milestones will help you stay on track throughout the year. Remember some important tips to goal setting. Goals have to be specific. Ambiguity makes hitting a goal impossible. You need to choose goals that can be measured. No opinions. Every goal must be actionable. You can't actually do it this year. Maybe put it off until you can. Make sure the goal is realistic. If you're just starting your blog, don't expect to hit a million daily views this year. Give every goal a deadline. That's what the milestones are for. By setting smart goals, you've already improved your chances of hitting them. Once your small business has marketing goals, you can determine how to measure them. There are often lots of ways to determine the different elements of each of your goals. For example, is website traffic anyone who loads your site? Or will you subtract bounces from those numbers? You gotta make sure that your whole team knows the rule you're using to measure by. That's going to keep confusion to a minimum and ensure that adjustments get made at the right time and in the right direction. Take a close look at the metrics that relate to each of your goals and marketing strategies. If you're not measuring them, you've got a change to make. You'll need to track everything you can in order to make the most of your marketing strategies. When it comes to each component of your marketing strategy, you'll need to know how those metrics relate to your goals. That way, the right numbers start to grow and you can duplicate the tactics that work. For example, your email click-through rates are going to have an overall impact on your site traffic. By tracking and studying the right data, your odds of hitting your goals become more controllable. Now, this is the part of marketing that will tell you if your small business is going to actually hit its goals. If your budget doesn't match what you're trying to achieve, you clearly won't. Take an assessment of the money you can put towards your marketing strategies. On average, if you want to see growth, you should be spending about 10% of your total revenue on marketing. But what that final dollar amount is going to look like will vary for every business. On the low end, you may not have much at only 10%. It may be necessary to increase your marketing to 20 or 30% of your revenue. If you can afford to make those adjustments, you could definitely apply enough funds to your marketing strategy to see a decent impact. If you can't, you'll need to take a look at lower cost marketing tactics that you can do yourself. You also want to be aware of your goals. If they're financially out of reach, maybe they set too far away from you to hit this year. Reduce the goal and gear towards the higher one when your marketing budget can be increased. The most important thing is to understand where within your marketing plan the money has to go. Plan carefully what you'll spend and where you'll spend it for the greatest marketing impact possible for your small business. With the marketing foundation in place for your small business, it's time to create your strategy. You need to build the roads that your traffic will come in, the gateways that will convert them to leads, and the processes that will get them to buy. The best way to do that in the modern world is with a solid inbound marketing strategy. Inbound marketing is the process of bringing in leads to you from the internet. It involves several different digital marketing elements, including SEO, content marketing, lead funnels, and paid advertising. It's the whole online marketing shebang wrapped up in an integrated strategy. I've talked about the value of inbound marketing a lot, so I don't think I need to repeat it again. Here's what you need to remember. Publishing a blog four more times a week earns four and a half times as many leads. Videos can improve purchases by 181%. About 25% of the US listens to podcasts. Most online time is spent on mobile devices. Over half of your site's traffic will come from Google. People will buy what they see on social media. And email Email marketing has a 3,228% ROI. Inbound marketing done right can earn you all these benefits. Just be prepared to put in the work to make the strategy work. With a solid small business marketing strategy in place, it's time to see what's working. Those metrics you chose earlier need to be collected. That means you'll need some software in place to make that happen. CRMs are great for that. Most CRMs can be integrated into your website and automatically collect the data you need to analyze your marketing strategies. They also offer a lot of other great automated features that can ease some of the workloads for your marketing team. When choosing a great CRM, you'll need to account for a few factors. Do the features you need fit your budget? Does the CRM integrate with the software and applications that you're already using? Can you try it out or get a demo before you buy it? Is there an option specific to your industry? Are customizations and training available? 
Is it easy for you and your team to use? And if you're international, does your CRM comply with the GPDR? You'll need to make sure that you're getting as much information from your CRM as possible. However, you wanna pay attention to other sources of data too. Look at the data that the Google marketing platform offers, as well as the information you can get from your Facebook pixel. Your email provider should have all the information you'll need for your email campaigns as well. Don't hesitate to find other great sources of data about your campaigns too. You can't ever have too much information when you're trying to maximize your marketing strategies. Once you get to your first measurement milestone, it's time to analyze your small business's marketing success. At this point, you're either making expected progress or you're not. If you are, you shouldn't need to change much. Look for the individual pieces of content that did the best and find their common threads. That will allow you to bring future content the same kind of success. However, if you're not on track, you need to find out why as early as possible. It's important to note that if you've never done any kind of inbound marketing before, your results will come slowly. Don't let early goals be too unreasonable for long. It's better at the early phases to assess your goals than your strategy if you're too far off target. But if your goals are where they should be, your content needs adjusted. Analyze where it's going wrong. Am I getting the top of funnel traffic, usually on social media? How am I ranking on search? Is my content getting visitors? Are my visitors converting to leads? Is my team following up with leads properly? Are we closing new sales? These questions can help you identify where in your marketing strategy you're struggling. If you're getting great social traffic, but your content isn't getting visitors, you need to change your content. If your social media content is getting poor reach, but you're getting 50% of your reach to make an action, maybe you should consider what your social looks like. Find what's working and what's not and adjust accordingly. Sometimes your small business's marketing campaign bombs out. It's easy to try and salvage it, especially if you've already spent a lot of time and money on it. But in some cases, that's a bad idea. Sinking more of your budget into a campaign or strategy that's fundamentally broken will hurt you. It won't help at all. No matter what, you can't be afraid to walk away from a campaign or strategy like that. But Michael, what about the money and time I spent? That's already gone. Forcing yourself to move forward to something that doesn't work will only cost more. Scrap your broken strategies and fail campaigns as early as you can identify that they're bad. Save yourself from wasting more time and money on something that's not gonna work. Yes, hitting your small business's marketing goals is that straightforward a process. By planning to win and adjusting along the way, you'll see many more goals achieved than you ever had before. That's gonna change the way you set goals. It's also likely to change the goals you set. When you know what it takes and how to make it happen, your goals are more than in reach. They're all but yours. That's it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this gave you some valuable insight on how to achieve the goals that you set every single year. Do me a favor, if you did find value in this video, hit that like button right there. And while you're at it, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you could comment below, let me know the most valuable piece of content that we shared today that will allow me to make better content for you in the future. We will catch you next Friday with another video. Have an excellent week. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today, I wanna to help you get your marketing in line. I wanna introduce our marketing goals planning guide. In order to download it, all you need to do is visit visceralconcepts.com slash YouTube hyphen goals hyphen planner. Put your first name, last name, and email address in the form and we'll send it to you so you can put it to use right away. Without a goal, you'll never get the results that you need to grow. Setting goals is fundamental to any level of success. That's why you need to make sure that you're planning marketing goals that matter. Our guide will help you plan your goals the smarter way. Identify where your marketing is currently getting you, find out the obstacles you're facing, decide how many site visitors that you wanna gain, determine what kind of lead growth you should be seeing, and figure out how many clients you're gonna get every month. If you'd like to stop praying for growth and gain some certainty about what you need to do, this planning tool will change the future of your business. Download it now by visiting visualconcepts.com slash YouTube hyphen goals hyphen planner. Put your first name, last name, and email address in the form, and we'll email it to you right away so you can put it to use and set goals that'll get you where you wanna go this year.